working on a uh, Subaru STI. I'm installing the uh, cylinder number four cooling mod. Now, the purpose of this one is uh, to uh, cool down cylinder number four because uh, it has a lot of problem with uh, burnt valves. So uh, that's why they make this uh, mod. And uh, the mod comes with the uh, hose, four clamps, one, two, three, four, and the uh, three-way adapter. Right now I am under the car and I'm on the driver's side. On the head, you can see the uh, hex bolt right there. You're gonna remove the hex bolt. And um, this line right here is the one that you're gonna be cutting. This is the one right here. The bottom one, not the top one, the bottom one. So this customer, he have a uh, aftermarket radiator. So this is where I'm gonna be draining it. So before you start on draining the uh, coolant, make sure the engine is completely cool. But uh, if your car is um, original, everything, you can um, either uh, disconnect the hose from here or from the uh, thermostat, which is right here. You're gonna try to get as much as coolant out as possible. So if you're planning to reuse the coolant, make sure you have a clean bucket um, and uh, take out the uh, radiator cap so that way all the coolant can come out. you're going to need is the uh, 12 millimeter allen head and the extension 38 so i drain out about a little bit over a gallon now i'm gonna start on the uh, bolt <clears throat> Now I got the bolt out, so now I'm just gonna get a clean rag, wipe out whatever's as dirty as in there. Good enough. So before cutting anything, I'm gonna put the uh, holes in and I'm gonna see uh, where I wanna cut the other holes. Now I'm gonna see where's the best place to cut this uh, line right here. Um, remember, I'm not cutting the top line, I'm cutting the uh, bottom one. So, where the uh, rubber piece is in between, I'm gonna have it like this. So, right in the middle is where I'm gonna be cutting it. I'm gonna be using the uh, hose cutter. So, this way, it gives me a good clean cut. Once you got the holes cut, um, take out this little piece of rubber right here. Now I got the uh, holes cut pretty straight. That's a pretty clean cut. Now I'm just gonna install the, uh, the uh, three-way adapter in first, and then I'm gonna install the bottom line. Put the uh, three-way adapter in, tighten it down, and now I'm gonna put the uh, bottom line. Now for the line, uh, for it not to leak, you're gonna put some kind of silicone in it. Um, put it all around the thread, just a little bit, just enough where you feel like it's not gonna leak. Um, you can use silicone, but the silicone, um, when you wanna take it back out over time, it's gonna get really hard. And when you're trying to take it out, it's very hard. So uh, sil silicone work, but uh, I use the uh, pipe thread sealant. This also works. Oh, this is the best way to do it. I used the uh, 26 millimeter socket right here and put it in, tighten it down with hand first and then all I need to do is just tighten it a little bit more with the ratchet. And that's it and you're done. That's good. and seven millimeter to tighten down the uh, clamps right there. It 
Should be good. Yes, it is. So now I'm gonna connect my uh, top line. Tighten it down pretty good. And the clamps are clear from uh, touching this line. So, shouldn't be a problem. Pretty good. So if you disconnect the uh, coolant hose right here, make sure you put it back the same position. And if you uh, drain out the uh, cockpit right here, make sure you tighten it down. Now you can see I pour in the uh, coolant. Now it's a uh, radiator is uh, taking down the uh, coolant. So now uh, once the uh, coolant has stopped going down, you can, uh, Press on the hose right here to get all the air out so that way it can uh, go down some more. So I'm trying to push out all the air in the system out. So right now that's it. The uh, coolant won't go down anymore. So now I'm going to start the car. So let, let it suck down all the coolant. So right now I have the car on. I'm going to turn on the heater because we uh, Cut the uh, heater hose to insert it with another line. So, all the way. Now I'm going to lift the car up, check for leak. completely cool it's completely down all the way I'm just gonna leave the rack around it so when I uh, pick it up the, uh, the coin will come out the towel is gonna catch it there you go now I'm gonna put the rest in the uh, reservoir Check the reservoir. Um, I'm gonna pour in some water to uh, fill it up all the way. So once you bleed the system completely, there's no more air in the uh, cooling system. Uh, you should have heater when you turn it on uh, heat on max. Uh, you should have heat. If you don't have heat, then you did not bleed it completely. So you just gotta keep on bleeding it until the uh, heater is hot. But uh, that is it. So if you guys liked my video, leave it a thumbs up. Comment down below anything you want to ask me. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you guys. Like, subscribe, and share.